Hi everyone, I'm here with my friend Susan Spungen who has an incredible new cookbook called Veg Forward. This is asparagus season, right? It sure is. So that's why we're making this recipe which is called Bucatini with pea pesto, ricotta, and shaved asparagus. Let's get Let's cooking. Do it. We're gonna blanch the peas. If you're using frozen peas, which you can, um, you don't need to blanch them. They're sort of already cooked. You would just defrost them. This doesn't take long. Really, by the time it comes back to a boil, it's probably good. All that blanching means is putting it briefly into boiling water and then shocking it by draining it and then putting it in iceware. So you stop the cooking and it stays bright green. Drain it. Do a little rinse with cold water before I put it in ice, just so that it doesn't immediately melt all the ice. Until they're cool. Now we're gonna do the asparagus. For this, I'm gonna pick out all the thick ones because we're gonna shave the asparagus. They're gonna go in raw. Basically, we're just gonna go like this and shave these long shavings. I'm gonna drain the peas now. I want these to be kind of dry before I make the pesto because I don't want um, to, to get watery. Isn't it fun? It is fun, honestly. <laughs> now we're gonna make our pesto. Yay. Yay. So we're doubling the recipe, so we're gonna do um, two cups of peas. Instead of the raw garlic, I'm going to use the scapes. So when you, if you ever get a chance to use garlic scapes, you don't use this part up here. There's a little stem right here, and it gets very pointy. This is the part that you use from here to here. I'm gonna use a little bit more than I would use of raw garlic because it's really mild. I'm just gonna chop it up a little so it can go into the pesto. I think I'm gonna do a little mix of Parmesan and Pecorino. Pecorino okay. is like saltier and sharper, so it has a bit more flavor when you're using it in a pesto like this. But uh -huh. I also love the nuttiness of Parmesan, so I'm gonna use a little of both. I need a total of one cup of cheese in here. I'm gonna use some of the Pecorino flavor. I've got about half and half. We'll save the rest of the parm for at the top. Okay. I'm gonna throw that in. So I picked some mint from my garden. We need about a cup of herbs. I've got parsley. I'm gonna throw some tarragon. Basil from your garden. We're doubling it so it's a cup. Oh yeah. There we go. We're gonna put a lot of salt. You always want a lot of salt in the pasta salty water. Salty like the sea, right? Yeah, salty <laughs> like the sea. Especially for this one because we're not adding like a sauce per se. Mm -hmm. So it's a bronze dye cut pasta, which creates a rougher surface. Yep. And that helps um, any sauce or whatever you put it with stick to it. So it's not so slippery and slick. 10 to 12 minutes, we're gonna cook it. Drain the pasta, put it back in here. So now we're going to put ricotta, about two cups. Let's put a bunch in. Here, zest this lemon. Stir it around. That looks beautiful, look at this. But it kind of needs this, just to pick it up a little bit. I'm gonna throw some more of these fluffy asparagus on top. Let's sprinkle some of these chai flowers on Okay. Not only do these look good, but they taste really great too. Really? Yeah, it just tastes like chives. Wow, and they're beautiful. so pretty. I didn't they're even so know you pretty. could eat them. Right. Wow! Yay! Yay! Thank you! Mm. <laughs>